was once one to be like, yeah, let's get us that fetus. I don't care about that bitch. Oh, <laughs> stuff like oh that. Lord. Slap <laughs> your neighbor and tell him God is good. That said that if that Hunter Biden laptop story had any arguments against that right now, and I want to see how it goes. Let's get to the next joint. Number five, abortion is Life begins at conception uh -oh. whether you want to accept that or not. Let me ask a simple question. If a pregnant woman was killed, would y'all agree that two people were killed? The other person including her unborn baby? Or y'all gonna tell lies? Mm. Number six. Hold on. When you say that, you do know you hit a lot of people in the black community and, and they're too emotionally charged to really address exactly what you're saying. They're just going to hear the first part because they yep. know if they didn't have an abortion personally, they know a poop ton of people who have. Yeah, I know. I know that that whole topic is extremely like it's, it's, it's a it's a tough subject. People yeah. don't want to talk about it. It's very sensitive. But at the end of the day, we're talking about it's, it's literally a matter of life and death. Because right. y'all out here killing babies. Right. You're killing babies. That is not okay. Like I see, I <laughs> I sent him a picture yesterday. I was walking and I saw somebody with a I support Planned Parenthood bumper sticker on their car. I'm like, you're 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 promoting the fact that you're a baby killer. Yeah. That's proud. something. That's not something to be proud of. It's it's scary to me that people are so adamant about that. And it's scary. Like I, I was watching YouTube and I got a Kamala Harris um ad and she was talking about abortion. It's like it was something fun and I'm like. This is scary. Like, this is actually scary that they're talking about this so casually. Yep. And, and and I was once one to be like, yeah, let's get us that fetus. I don't care about that. Like, <laughs> say stuff like that. I did. And I'm, I, I, I even I hate to even think that I used to think like that. But I did. Yeah. Because yeah. I was really oh, I was I was duped. I, I really was convinced that a fetus is just a clump of cells. It's not real. And it's OK to kill it. Yeah, because it's not a baby yet. It's not a, it's not six months yet. So we can get rid of it. Right. And, and I was watching something yesterday. Black conservative posted a video of Kamala Harris and talking to a news interviewer. And the lady was asking Kamala, um, at what point, you know, do y'all cut off the abortion? Kamala did not answer this lady. She asked this lady like, Four times. At what point do you cut off the abortion? She couldn't answer it. She could not answer it. She didn't answer it. And I'm like, wow, that's scary. So y'all yeah. saying y'all y'all are just y'all. There's no limit. Well, what they say is what they claim to um, to represent is the woman's health. It's about the woman. It's about the woman is already here. We need right, to protect that, her health. That's what the serpent said to Eve. It's about. <laughs> oh, oh God! Please, please speak more on that, young man. I want to hear more about that. We 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 clearly seeing what's happening as far as Adam and Eve in the um in the garden, and as you know. The serpent didn't go to Adam because Adam wasn't a god. He had to go to Eve because Eve was emotional. Eve was more susceptible to be lied to. And what do you think he told Eve, like in her ear, like, oh, you can you can go into the work field. You can be just as good as a man. You can be like God. You can show body your choice. You can do what you want to do, baby. You right. you you that girl. You know you do like you got to think about it as if it was happening today. He he didn't just say eat the apple. Like he enticed her. He made it sound good. He he didn't even make it about the the knowledge. He made it about her. Yep. Wow wow. Yep. He was a pimp. Mm -hmm. For real? Right, exactly. so I'm, I'm going straight to <laughs> right. He was a pimp. Hey, don't listen to her, baby. Listen, you want to see everything? You want to know everything? Eat that apple and feed right. her one. Matter of fact, right. cook it. Put some cinnamon on it. Right. <laughs> Yep. Like really, really create something delicious <laughs> for that man. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you, man. Yeah, it it was it. still Adam's fault though, because he, he showed us to listen. Absolutely. We can't blame the person that coerced us to do some dumb right. stuff. Like, come on, I'm gonna give you $500, you go smack that person back in the neck. You got to deal with that person. You smack them back of the neck, not them. Right. <laughs> right. right. Exactly. Now, if, if Eve would have gave him the apple and God didn't give him the order directly, then it'd be a different argument. But right. God told him directly and he chose to disobey. That's right. That's right. Amen. Listen, this about to be all oh, Lord. Slap <laughs> your neighbor and tell him God is good. All right, let's move on to the next one. The other person, including her unborn baby, or y'all gonna tell lies? Number six, cultural appropriation is not real. Mm. The term cultural appropriation just made it okay to be racist, and I'm not a fan of that at all. No. I said it once and I'll say it a million times. If you're telling a white girl she cannot wear braids because she is white, that is racist. I don't give a damn. They do it all the time. I see it yep. too often, too often. And that's the thing that tri I'm telling you, like I said before, that's the, that's that was the point where my social media <sighs> took a different turn. And I went ahead and just went full conservative because I'm like, y'all, y'all are blatantly being racist. And I made a video on my now deleted page where I was saying the same thing I just said. 
y'all telling somebody they cannot do something based on their race is racist. Yes. People were in my comments calling me all types of names, calling me all types of crazy. And I'm like, are y'all serious? Y'all are serious. So if they put up a, a sign that said white only and told us y'all could not come in the store because of y'all race, y'all wouldn't have a problem? Mm, mm, mm. We're, just, we're just gonna lie. Okay. Yeah, they they just gonna lie. They just gonna lie. <laughs> and and all and also to add to that, I will say, and this here's the thing: when we start playing victims, we don't even we don't even um look at this option right here. If it says whites only inside of this store, and this is from Jesse Lee Peterson, mm -hmm. why are we so pressed to still just shop there? there? Just go somewhere else. Oh, so I'm I going mean, somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, start your own. Yikes! Why you want to go somewhere you're not accepted at? Right. That's that's. And then you gonna complain you. when you feel like they're not catering to you. And then when like they, they want then you, then when they let they you don't. in, you complain that they're not treating you fairly. Go ahead. <laughs> like, where does it stop? It, it don't stop. It'll never stop. It never stops because it we all gotta stop. complain. I gotta complain the most. No, I'm gonna complain the most. No, I'm gonna complain right. more. I'm gonna complain right. more. Right. The victimhood Olympics. Oh, who? You? Who, ooh, we cooking with hot sauce? Oh yeah. All right, we moving on, man. Y'all about to make me lose some. See, and if I act crazy, guys, y'all already know. If you've been here a long time, you would know that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little off. I'm a little off. Hey, you good. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the rest of these drinks, man. And this one, and listen, it's about to get a little dirty, too, y'all. Never said the BLM or Black Lives Matter was a scam. They used these donations they got from everybody, including me, on themselves. Including me? Including... Mr. Van, I, I literally was at a Black Lives Matter protest uh -huh. on the first year they had Juneteenth. Okay, uh -huh. they, these people had me duped. I was 100% okay. out there promoting Breonna Taylor, promoting George Floyd, mm -hmm. not even thinking it was something. It was a Marxist organization. <laughs> Yeah. I thought it was I thought it was a good a good cause. And my mom was so mad that I was out there. So mad. How right. could you? Right. And I'm like, well, I, th I thought I was doing something productive. What's right. the problem? And she's like, your life could have been in danger. They could have killed you. Yeah, they could have started. I'm like, nah, they they, been, they, that's, that's my people. You would have been getting shot at. Wrong. Yeah, that's, that's, it. My, um, that's absolutely true. Go ahead. My, ta my tattoo guy um, was working on one of my tattoos. And he, this was like during the middle of that when they were protesting and uh, looting and rioting. And he was telling me about how Black Lives Matter was basically funded by the Democrats. Like every time you donate to Black Lives Matter, it would take you to a Democrat. Somebody's political campaign, yeah. like for a half a second, didn't take you somewhere else. But but the root link was to their party. And when you donate to Black Lives Matter, you donate to the Democrats. And he was saying, like, look at the the mission statement or like the their goals Go to the website. It's the destruction of the nuclear family, feminism, women's rights, all type of crazy stuff that have nothing to do with black people. And he pointed this out like as it was happening. So we've been we've been seeing it, but I just I hadn't actually looked into it like wow. maybe a year ago to tend to really see it like wow he was spot on. Spot on. Mm hmm Yeah. But you don't know until you know. Mm -hmm. Nope. You know what I mean? And you guys were showing support and you weren't showing, you were showing support out of the anger based off of what you was listening to and hearing yep. and seeing yourself. Um, your algorithm was a little, a little different then. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, your algorithm. See, and that's the thing people don't understand too. When, when our algorithm is a little flawed, people need to take responsibility for that because it ain't like people saying, oh, I bet you want to put this in my algorithm. No, that's you. You like this. You're right. buying into this. And guess what? The computer is going to feed you more stuff that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. And right. guess what? You will be out there with a Black Lives Matter <laughs> t-shirt on saying, yeah. say her name, say his name. Say yeah. we, Me and my daughters, we were out there too. That's because my daughters, they was like, we want to go down there to the march in Washington, D.C. We in Washington, D.C. Okay, I'm going to go down there with my daughters to make sure y'all are good. But we was out there walking and was like, okay, y'all ready to go home? And after that, my daughter is being sometimes get called little Candace Jr. too. <laughs> um, because it's like once you start to wake up okay i'm woke now i'm gonna be productive let me read some more let me find out some more and guess what when you find out more now you have a decision to make yeah unless if you if you're the type of idiot who constantly found out new information that tell you over and over and over and over and over again <clears throat> that you've been lied to and you do nothing different to correct that direction that you're going then you a dumbass and yeah. you two seem extremely intelligent by simply saying yo you should probably course correct Correct. We should probably course correct. And plus, shout out to your mom for loving on you and making sure that you were good. But from my understanding, when you first started to embrace the MAGA movement, the conservative movement, your mom also didn't really enjoy that decision, correct? Oh no, my mom still does not enjoy my decision. She told me that my husband brainwashed me and she, uh, 
<laughs> she's not for it at all. She has Trump, Trump derangement syndrome. She just thinks that he's evil, and she just does can't fathom why her intelligent daughter would be supportive of him. And I'm telling her, I'm sending her YouTube videos. I made her a whole playlist. Of, I went through the uh, walk away um, YouTube video and I went through and found all the black people just for my mom so I can make her a playlist of the black people and send it to her just to show. I'm like, look, these are people like me because you don't want to hear it from me because I told her exactly what I told you. She's watched my YouTube video, but she thinks I'm brainwashed. She told me that and it was extremely hurtful. So I'm like, OK, all right. And let I'm me done. tell you something, mom. <laughs> let me, your mom, let me tell you something, mom, just in case you see this right here. I love you and ain't nothing you can do about it and whatever you say to your baby girl i'm sure you saying it because you love her and you yeah. and you probably concerned for her every single day especially in this crazy world that we're in but the way this young lady thinks and the king that she has heading their household right now she is all right you ain't got to worry about this one you ain't got to worry about this one at all hopefully Amen. you hear what i'm saying to you young lady i'm talking to your mother right now yes you ain't got to worry about this one right here <laughs> at all they fine they good I, and also one other thing before we move on you lost your dad last year right yes so uh, my father passed away in may of 2022 um he was 51 years old he died suddenly and um wow. as far as his political wow. outlook on life i've honestly never really talked to him about politics but you know I, I i i know for a fact he would not want my mom to be uh classifying me as brainwashed for my new perspective he would be one to listen to me and right. honestly i don't know they might this whole thing might have broke my parents marriage up because i feel like it would ultimately ultimately led to them taking sides because my mom is like not yeah. for it yeah. but i don't know but yeah like i said i had a platform where i was posted about my father it happened while i still had a platform on tiktok and people were sympathetic and then all of a sudden people were throwing that in my face i'm like wow like yeah wow so y'all yeah. been here since he actually passed and now you're gonna turn around and say i deserve him to die yeah it's crazy that was the meanest... that's truly evil yeah yeah and and sorry to bring that back up but if i bring it up more than once it's it's on my heart that's that's it's all not. i really have no excuse i really have no excuse for bringing it up it's on my heart because i know that a connection be between a dad and a daughter is is different it is and you know what i'm just so happy i know my dad would be so proud of me because yes. every time i went went home he would be telling me you need to start a youtube channel you need to start yes. a youtube channel yes. you need to talk people want to hear you talk you've been talking telling stories since you were a baby i'm yes. like okay okay all right and then I, I i posted my very first youtube video like three or four days before he passed and i i never post i stopped posting you know i was mourning and stuff and so yeah. now that it's been revamped and I have a new energy and a new passion. It's just like, I know my daddy would be proud of me for doing this. I know he yes. would. Yes, he would. I'm his oldest daughter. I, yes. I'm his oldest child. So, yeah.